Hey everybody, this is Ian here, and today I decided to play a little bit of Game Dev Tycoon, the game where you play as someone who went back in time about 35 years in order to, uh, in order to be there for the absolute beginning of the gaming revolution. So, um, so this is a game that I've had on my Steam account for a while. And as you can see here, in this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company, yada yada yada, great best-selling games, game fans become leader of the market. So, we have to give our company a name, and because I really like this game, I have played this a lot, and I've memorized a few things, but not overly so, so it's, um, you know, you're not going to get some of my blind let's plays here, because I really do love this game. And I wanted to see what you guys think when I started up with this. So for our company name, let's go with gmail.com. No, no, that's horrible. That's a horrible idea. I'll, I'll have people, I'll have Google just kind of sit there going like, what you doing, boy? What you doing? And I won't have an answer. So let's go with uh, gaggle.com. There we go. I'm gaggle. I'm gaggling a lot. And as always, we're just Ian. And let's pick something that kind of looks like me. That's pretty decent. And I like the sweater vest. I always like the sweater vest. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I was see playing the game set like size how fast the platforms can mark when the high score is calculated. Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, no, we are not going to unlock hints, and we're just going to do. Oh, I do have a mod installed in order to play this game, but um, it's not really unnecessary, it's not really necessary, it's just something to be able to help me see things. Like, this is the mod, just kind of tells me all this. That's it, nothing, nothing super serious. So, the whole point of Game Dev Tycoon is to create games. So, first off, I'm going to pick a platform, the G64 is always nice, and let's pick a topic first. So we have Hacking, Airplane, Dungeon, and Racing. So, let me see here. Let's go ahead and do a dungeon crawl adventure. A dungeon adventure on the G64. Now, for the game name. So, a dungeon RPG. It's going to be kind of like Doom, except it's all underwater. And it's... Yeah, let's do... Um, Atlantis.com. Yeah, because it's on the G64, so it'll be just fine. Atlantis.com. It's going to be text-based because we're cheap and we want to do something fun. So, here we go. Okay, so we have RPG. So, in an RPG, stories and quests is very important. Engine, not so much. And gameplay can be pretty important. We'll put that at about 80% there. Okay, and then we start building our game. So, as we start playing, you will start getting points of technology, design, uh, some research, and you'll also get a few bugs to iron out. Artificial intelligence? Nope. But dialogues, yep, level design, there. And as you go through, you'll be able to make these games, you'll be able to make them you know, really good or really poor, and just hopefully not screw up. So, we got text based graphics, basic sounds, we're going to go ape on graphic? No. World design, graphic, and then sound, we're gonna put no time into. Alright, so we're going to see how this goes with having everything going so far. So far, we've only got two bugs and 14 design. Now, for day one, 15 design. So, for day one, that's not too bad. I mean, for a good, it's a good baseline. Alright. So, after you finish a game, you'll get experience with different categories on making said game. So, we're going to go ahead and release this game. And then... Let's see what we got for research. We got a new topic, and we could do... Well, how could I not pick ninja? Ninjas are always awesome. We always do ninjas. Always. Always pick the ninjas. Landis.com comes in at... 6. Let's go for 7. Cool. Can we go for 8? No. No. Okay, how about, how about 8? Come on. Give me an 8. Give me an 8. Cool, straight up seven. All right, I think I'm okay with that with that rating, a seven rating for our first uh, first game. Let's see, such good start. Gaggle.com or sure. <laughs> Sorry, that's gonna make me laugh every time. Gaggle.com. It's gaggle. It's always about gaggle. Sold eight thousand units within the first week, and we made it to the charts. Rank twenty nine. Not bad. 
Not bad. And I got 36 fans because of it. Now, fans are somewhat important. Well, they're, they're very important. The more fans you have, the more likely they're going to buy games from you in the future, no matter how bad they are. So, you can solve this port milestone in history. Okay. So, we've got ninjas now. So, now, we generate a game report to be able to get even more research. Our next goal is to be able to try and get 50 points of research in order to be able to get custom engines, if I remember correctly. We're still in the top 100, so not too bad. Engine RPG screen combination dialogue's going to be very important for this type of game. Awesome. Oh, right. So now that that's all done, we need to get started on our next game because we don't want to go shit broke. So now we're going to do Action Ninja Adventure on, on, on the G64. So... What do you have the name for this one be? We're gonna call you... Star of Danger. Because you're just, you're playing as a ninja that has one ninja star and just throws it at people and it kind of, you know, it hits people and just comes back kind of like Captain America shield. So, that's what happens there. So let's go ahead and create this game. So far, not too bad with design technology. So, action, we need Better gameplay, not so much in quests, and engine I think will be good. Alright, so, so far we've got a couple bugs, so I think I might have made a mistake or two. Ow. Yeah, I think I probably made a mistake or two. Alright, so, dialogues are not very important. Level design is important. Artificial intelligence I'll put about there. So let's see how this goes. Come on. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Don't be scratching your head and thinking, I've got games selling, even though that's not too bad. But I've got games selling. I've got 89 fans so far. That's not too bad. All right, how about... I think that's about right. We'll, we'll, we'll call it there. All right, come on. I don't think this game will be anywhere near as good as Atlantis.com. I mean, with 11 bugs to iron out, we've made a lot of mistakes in this game. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we'll call it there. Alright, come on, let's make a game. Well, we got a new record in technology for action, so that's pretty good. Release the game! Release the hounds! Make some money! Oh, great. Generate the game report because I completely forgot what I was doing there. So it cost me 54000 to be able to make this game. And the reviews are... Probably poor. Obviously. So five, we got a five, we got probably another five. Yeah, I just kind of pushed it out without thinking. Oh, and I got a four. 4.75 score. So let's see what I did wrong, which this game report will tell us. Well, I still got fans because of it, so... I'm still going to technically make a profit off of this game. Oh, um, hmm. Let's do G64 as always. We're going to do... All right. Hacking action? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Got to gotta name it. I think hacking action might do okay. Let me see here. So hacking action. Let's go with um, Troon. This is Troon, where you're playing as a guy just running through and trying to hack his way into the Pentagon for some reason. I haven't really thought this up, and apparently people aren't going to think it's very interesting either. Either. So we'll figure out how this goes. So with action, it's maybe better in engine less in gameplay might do it there we go that's what I'm talking about I think that's actually doing a bit better all right so I'm gonna keep it on that because that seems to do well come on come on get us some points get us some points here I like the points Japanese company Ninvento hmm Dinky King, hmm, yeah, that's quiet. My industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento. Ninvento, so graphic is important. World design isn't as much. No, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it where sound is almost as important as graphic, and we're gonna see how well that goes. That seems to be doing really well, actually. Yeah, I think I got that. Alright, so 10 and 7. 
Oh, fix that bug. I'm gonna release it as is because new topic, new combo, record 10. I leveled up in level design, that's nice. Okay, so we're going to release the game! 10,000 units, and I've got 163 fans, that's not too bad. We're gonna generate the game report on Trin. Okay, how'd it do? Come on, over four. Please, over four. Ow. Okay, so this is not gonna go well for me. My games are steadily getting worse and worse. I am... Ow. Ow. Probably four. Yeah, 3.75. Our games are steadily getting worse as we're releasing them. This is not good. But hey, we got over 55 research, so that's not too bad. Uh, hacking action is a bad combination. Okay, well at least that makes sense. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important. Okay. Platform. So action is good, but it's not great. So let's research a custom game engine and see how that goes. So I lost five fans because of that. That's not good. Uh, you, you just finished my worst game I released so far and you think I have potential? Yeah. You're... You're just a jerk, aren't you? But he'll give me contract work in order for me to be able to... to plans to release a new home gaming system called the TES early next year. Hmm. Look at that. It's a uniquely designed controller, that's for sure. Some people would say it's one of the worst controllers out there because, you know, it jags right into the, your palms, but... Hey, it works. Can't really fault him for it working. Let's see. Let's do... Racing simulation for the G64? Uh, let's see. Go kart your s your self. She seems to be a good name. Alright, as always, 2D graphics. We're going to start development on this because we're just going to pump out just a bunch of useless crap as far as games are concerned. So we got engine, we got gameplay, we got story quests. Engine is very important. Gameplay is very important. Starting quest, no. I know that for simulations. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Come on. Make sure that we do good. Do we do good? Oh, no, we got one bug. So something went wrong. Alright. Let's do... AI is important. Level design, not so much. There we go. 9,000 units. Oof. That, that did not turn out good for us. We lost 30 fans because of that. Ouch. I don't think this is going to go well for us either. So I'm thinking... Graphics important. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Let's see how it goes. Come on. Okay, so they both broke 10. We got six bugs to iron out. Two, one. That works for me. 10 and 13, especially for a simulation game. Broke a new record there, so... Hey, look at that. So we got... I leveled up. Sound's up. Graphics up. World design's up. AI's up. Gameplay's up. And engine is up. That's that's nice. That's very nice. Game tutorials and mono sound are available. So let's do some research. I don't have anything to be able to make a custom engine with, so... Let's make some good sound options for people. That might be nice. First reviews for a new release game. Go-kart yourself came in. And how'd it do? Seven. I'm okay with seven. Seven's good. Racing and simulation is great. Okay, could have. Uh, why? Why do you have to go like that, Game Hero? You're just a jerk sometimes. So, meh. Screw you, Game Hero. Screw you. It's not my best, but it's one of my better. Okay, now do a game report because why did it only get a 6.75? That's what I'd like to know. So, so far. Day, week two, it's, I've already made what I lost. Come on, come on, what's the game report? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, little guy. Okay, it's only good, which is why, yeah, so simulation's not the best. Alright, let's do research on a new topic instead of that other one, because I want to do zombies. What's what's wrong with zombies? Not a thing. That's what I'm saying. Uh huh. Yeah. We're gonna make some zombie games. We're just gonna be like that that zombie extraordinaire up in here. I mean, come on. 
starting to get hungry. Not thirsty, but just hungry. I don't think I've actually eaten breakfast yet. Hmm. No, I haven't eaten yet today. Oh well. I, I have more important things to do today, like playing games and stuff. Because, you know, YOLO. Um, oh, as you guys might have noticed, I didn't release any games on Saturday. That's because I'm going to be taking Saturday as my kind of day off from releasing games. I, some Every once in a while, I'll probably release a game on there if there's something that I just absolutely can't wait to play. And I really want to play it and I want to share it with you guys. Oh, zombie action. You want to get the license cost for the TES? Because action is not that great on here, but it could be great on here. Yeah. Alright, so zombie action game, and then it's uh, shoot to the head. Kind of like boot to the head for all of you older people out there who might remember that skit. I don't know. You booted me in the head! All right, how are we doing here? Shoot to the head, one and one, not too bad. Let's do more gameplay, less engine. Wow, I'm at 240 fans. I wasn't even paying attention to that, but you because of that. So, yeah, that's gonna be nice. That'll get me uh, a couple of viewers. Come on, come on, play it for me. Play it for me. Come on, man. Why you gotta be like that? Just keep going. Zombies action. AI is not that important. What level design is. I know that. Come on, get me some good design. Get me some good design features up in here. Come on. Come on. Um, sound isn't as important as world design. I know that. Come on. Go for it. Go for it, bro. So, we're doing really good so far here. We got some great points in design. New record in technology. Maybe new record in design? We're about to find out. Come on. Okay, not in design. I think 13 was our record in design. We need to do some RPG-like stuff. Story quests and dialogues are up to level 2, so... Generate that game report for Shoot to the Head! how to do? We got... Abysmal ratings, okay. Well, not abysmal, it's not a three. It's a four, but it's not a three. Damn you. Damn you, people! I think the point of this game is that the more you play, the harder it gets, in a way, even if you go to a new game. That's just a great combination. Well, design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Platform, genre, match, TES, action, okay. So, it's not good, it's okay. So it's probably only one star so research game tutorials I still need to unlock one more thing in order to make it profitable for me to actually release something good I'm still getting fans though I'm almost at 300 that's very nice oh I'm getting really hungry here Should probably make something to eat right after I'm done with the, playing this game for you guys because you know let's see game history no not research I need to develop a new game because you know, yeah, I think we're losing a bit of money there. So, picking the platform. Action's not that good on it. However, let's try and go... I don't think simulation would be that good on it, but... I think dungeon might be? We haven't done a dungeon RPG, especially since it's year two. So, dungeon RPG is a great combo. What are we going to call this game? Randscape. We're gonna call it Ranscape. Why Ranscape? Because it's not RuneScape, that's why. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, apparently the name was not a good option there. Okay. Um, RPG, Story and Quest, Gameplay, Engine, okay. Come on. Get some design going because we need something that looks really nice today. Okay, so dialogues are super important. AI is not important. Level design is about there. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay, so world design is important. Graphics not as important. Let's do that. And hopefully we don't come out with a bunch of bugs. Okay, so we've got a lot of bugs coming out. Oh, excellent. So, it's going to be released to more people uh, the more I do this, so... 12, 13, 14... 
122 in sales. I know it's more than I put into the damn game, so that's pretty good. Okay, this is going to be a very nice looking game with 15 design. I've seen these go up into the hundreds at some point at the super high levels. Yeah, 17? I will totally go there for 17. It's going to be a very nicely designed game, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm going to play this... Uh... History. Yeah, we'll start a history. We'll start researching history just because we can. How did Brandscape do? It did. Whoa, I'm seeing big numbers there. Eight. Can I get a nine? No, but can I get another eight? I got a nine. That's awesome. Okay, solid eight. Ooh, yes. Very good. Very good. Informed gamer, you're a jerk. You're just a jerk, informed gamer. This is going to be my best game so far. Ranscape. It makes sense though why Ranscape would be. I, I don't know why it would be. You know, I don't. I think everybody knows about Ranscape at this point. The game report for a solid eight is what went well. What went very well on this. I'm sorry that I'm uh, that I'm talking so much and so fast. I'm pretty sure those of you listening are trying to have a hard time keeping up with me, and you know that's understandable. If you do have if you do have issues on how fast I'm speaking or whatever, go ahead and. Oh, it's, that's why it did? Because it's an okay combination? Uh, maybe an action would do better. Mm. Just because I kind of want... Well... Let's do werewolf action. So far, this is earned. Wow, I'm at almost 600 fans now. Okay, and now we got the ESRB rating. Damn you! Damn you, fighting games, for doing that. The ESRB rating is not what we're going for here, but apparently, yeah. I don't have anything to be able to put into the custom engines, though, so why would that even matter for me? Okay, so now we got a new game. We're going to do Pick Top It. We're going to do Werewolves. A werewolf action game for the TES. Okay, action wasn't doing so good, actually. So maybe Adventure. You know, let's try Dungeon Adventure. We'll just see how it goes. Um, for the TES, and then this one will be Crawl of Doom, because why not? 2D graphics, just because we haven't unlocked anything really good yet. Reasons. All right, so adventure. It's mostly gameplay, not so much about story quests. I'm sure. We're not 100 percent. 266,000 sales. It's still not doing super well, but we're doing okay, especially with 600 fans. But the Vena, another Japanese company, is going to release a home gaming console on their own. Apparently, this is doing well, so. Level design is more important than dialogues. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we got one bug. I don't know what's going on there. Come on. World design, graphic sound. Yep. Let's see how this does for an, advent uh, for an adventure game. Come on. Not that much technology there, but I have a feeling this is going to do just fine. Come on. This is going to do... Oh no, don't tell me. Ah. Well, it's not a four. Okay. Apparently, there's a huge difference of opinion in this game, so... What, what, what happened? What went wrong? The Vina comes out. Come on. Come on, I want to figure out what exactly went wrong with my game there. So, it was Dungeon Adventure is okay. Gameplay should not be very important for this type of game. And Adventure is a... What are you even good for, you little bastard? Okay, I'm going to research target audience just because I can. Um, I 
Come on. Come on, research it. You're going really slow. Come on. There we go. Target audience is research. Now we're just going to develop... Actually... Ah, oh, God, so we're just getting a lot of simulation games, and it's not... It's not cool. Um... Oh, guys, this isn't going well at all for me. Um, come on. Make that game. Make that research. I'm still gaining fans, so it's not too bad. Open a new game. On the, so, Adventure's really bad for this. I haven't done a simulation yet, so... Rated E for everybody. The Slims. Uh, this is all about people that are like super chunky and everything and are starting to go on diets. So you need to like simulate their life in order to be able to get in order to be able to get them to a point where they're happy with their own body and healthy. That's the point of this game. It's just a, just a bunch of squats and everything on on a 2D pixelated screen. Guys, it sounds horrible actually. <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta say, that does sound like a horrible game, but I'm sure that somebody's gonna make it. Alright, so we got a couple bugs already. So I guess we'll do that. Actually, well... AI is super important, level design not super important. There we go. Alright, how's this gonna go? How's this gonna go? I got a couple bugs. I don't know if bugs means that I'm doing okay or not, but... <sighs> graphic, world design, sound... I'm gonna try sound being better than graphic, actually. I think that might be... I think that might be it. Come on. Come on. Alright, so... This isn't doing too bad. If I could get some more points of design, this could actually be a bestseller. Alright, there we go. 13 and 15. It's not great on either one, but it's a new topic, it's a new combo. I leveled up in level design. Let's see how this does. Level editor. Let's see if we can research that. I'll research that, and then I'll create a custom engine, and then we'll be rich, and then we'll be famous. And the Sims review came in. Slims? I didn't say Sims. Nine. Can I get a ten? Damn. Can I get an eight? Can I get another eight? Nine. Oh, cool. It went. It actually did really well compared to all of my other games so far. So let's see. Oh, God. I think this is actually going to get me... Oh, wow. I'm at 900. Almost a thousand fans. It would be it would be amazing if I had a thousand subscribers. But so currently I've got I do better in a game than I do in real life, so I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm at a thousand, okay. This guy gains more fans in a week than I uh, in a week than I do in a year. Damn. And simulation is a great combination, engine seems to be quite important. Uh, simulation is okay, platform audience match good, topic audience is great, awesome. We'll create a custom engine because I think now we have the ability to do so. Game tutorials, level editor, mono sound. I think this is going to be good. Okay, so what are we going to call this game engine? We're going to call this... Fart Dart. Why Fart Dart? Because these are random names that I pull out, uh, pull out of nowhere. So let's see how we do here. We got 2D graphics coming in. We're getting some research coming in. Come on, man. You can do it. And as soon as we're done here, we're probably going to research a new topic or something. Casual games, cool. I think I'll research that actually, because I'm pretty sure that I have a system coming out. Yeah, of course you're losing share. That's fine. I think I released two games for you, so meh, you can you can go suck it. Suck it! Suck it! Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Now I know that a lot of people out there are talking about the uh, PC Master Race and how consoles can be better than PCs or, you know, I think I think the whole part of it is that people assume it that way because it's cheaper to buy a console than it is a computer. 
And I mean ungodly cheaper. I spent $900 on this computer in order to be able to play games. That's all I bought this for was to play games, but now I'm using it for YouTube. So I think that's kind of kind of the reason why everybody's so torn about, you know, oh, this, this is better, this is better. But to be perfectly honest, if you can afford a PC, it's better. Good thing that I'm getting it because that's going to be really good for casual game for kids. Or everybody. I think everybody was actually a better one for that. But if I could do, if I could get pocket monsters going on on, the, on that thing, then huh, I'll be million. I'll be, I'll be rich and famous. Rich and famous. Oh, still researching. Oh, it's not out yet. Um, while I'm waiting for that, let me go ahead and find some contract work to do. Could I get that going? Four weeks in order to make some game backdrops? Five weeks. Oh, that sounds good. Let's do that. We're gonna make some library software and get some coin going and some research going. I like to research a new topic before that new game system comes out. Come on, come on, you can't be like that. Give me, no, give me the rest of that technology. Excellent, so it's released. I'm going to create a new game for that. Oh, okay. Develop new game. We're going to use the Fart Dirt Game Engine with the Gameling. Yes. Picking the casual genre. And we want to do... Life? For everyone? And then this will be... Gods. Baby needs love. I don't know, it's like you're playing as a... Ooh, cool. So you're playing as a um, as a father or a mother, and you're able to do all this sorts of stuff with, uh, you know, making sure that your baby's okay and everything. Um, casual? I think gameplay is important. Engine, not so much. But we're still going to make a save game. And... Uh, tutorial on how to play the game because tutorials can be nice whenever you don't you, you know not everybody knows how to be able to take care of a baby so that should be just fine and dandy and I think this might actually push us forward to uh, AI not level design but dialogue's important I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna put anything in level design because I'm sure that it's not gonna be that good so I have no idea how this is gonna go actually but let's see how it does um, high intensive graphics, not so much sound, but with mono sounds that we were able to get, you know, you're able to hear your baby when it's calling for you. Come on. I'm not sure that it's a good fit for life casual. I think it's going to be an okay combination. I mean, really, just, eh, I don't know how it's going to do. Level up in gameplay and graphic, and I leveled up. Better user experience. Let's generate the game report because I don't know how this is going to do at all. I guessed on most of those. Okay, it's not doing too bad. Uh, okay, level design was where I failed. Hmm. Got a solid 6.5 or 2.5. So that will allow me to hype up games, so I might get into that. Life and casual is okay. I figured as much. Sounds is quite important for this type of game. Let's do some research into... I can research a better user experience and then a new topic. Hopefully something that's, that's better with a casual game. Because life casual, I really didn't think that would do well, but it's doing okay. I mean, I'm making back my money, that's for sure. I'm at a thousand fans, so that's not too bad. I mean, oh, come on, researching a new topic, and fantasy, no, business, we'll do business, just because we can, I don't know how a, bit, a casual business game would go, but we're going to do it anyway, we're going to do whatever the market says that is best for our games, so a, casu a casual business game, I don't think it's going to go well, yeah, whatever, whatever, and here's basically full power of the Master Peaks. If you can't uh, take it with you, it also has a full color screen. Ooh, it's got that full color screen. Come on. 
Oh, a new game with the fart dirt. Get the gameling going, and then uh, casual because it's really good there. And then casual business for everybody. Yeah. Um, let me see. What do I call this game? Most of the most of this episode has been me trying to go. Oh, what should I call this game? Or what should I call this? Actually, I don't think it's going that far. But um, CEO. We'll just call it CEO, just because we can. Sharks. CEO Sharks, there we go. 2D graphic version 2, just because we have the ability to. We have the technology. Alright, so, casual. I'm gonna stick with that, because it did really well for me last time. Casual doesn't really need that many quests. They loved it pretty good. So, level design was actually important. Dialogues is not. There we go. Oh, shoot. I actually forgot to do something there, but I think that'll actually end up in our favor, maybe. Sound and not graphic. Let's see how it goes. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I gotta make some casual games. I'm using casual because I know that this system is the best for casual games. So I really want to make sure that that's best for what I'm trying to do. Three, two, one. Okay, cool. So 12 and 11. Not our best game, obviously. We got some points on everything else, including 2D graphics, and we got open world. Open world games would be nice. Let's do... A game report for this. How did it do? It did poorly, I'm guessing. Mostly because business is not a good for a casual game. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's why it did bad. Otherwise, it did pretty good. Oh God, let's just generate this game report and just oh fuck my life. That looks maybe not important. Platform genre matching is great. Gambling for everyone is good, so I need to do something for young people, so hmm. New topic. Fantasy. I wanna get open world going. It's hard to get marketing when you're just sitting there going like, ah, I need to get some stuff out there. Okay, research top, uh, that. Uh, research open world, see how that goes. And the more that we research, the more their money will be get will be down. That's a shame, unfortunately. Uh, come on, come on. 1.7 thousand fans. We're almost at 2,000 fans, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, we kind of have to. Alright, so using the fart dart, and we're going to use... So casual is the best match, but I think it's young. And we're going to try fantasy RPG for young people. And we're going to see how that goes. First fantasy, because I am original, that's why. Don't mock me. If you guys think you have a better idea for a game I could do with what I have, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. So RPG is super big on story, super no on engine, a little bit on gameplay, but linear story, no on engine. Uh, okay, good. That's good. We're going to see how this goes. I have a feeling this is going to do really well. Like, I have a really good feeling this is going to do really well. Oh, poor G64. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so come on, let's let's get let's get going here. I realize that you guys watching this must be like, oh man, this game's super boring. But this is actually a really fun game, and I do think that um, anybody who plays this would sit there and really get their creative juices flowing, which is kind of the reason why I'm playing this. Yeah, you didn't do so well. I got one fan on that last week. One fan. All right. Uh. Well, I got four games from then, I got half a million, almost. Wow, the design on this is actually going really well. Uh, 
Okay. Let's hope this works. Wow, the design's just flying on this. Oh my god, this might be our game of the year right here. This is what's going to push us past a million. Holy crap. Like, I guarantee it, we've never had a game like this before. Story, quests, and dialogues went up, sound went up. This is just like one of those games. Simple cutscenes, better dialogues. While that's doing that, we're going to research. Simple cutscenes, yeah. Just because we can. Come on. First reviews are released, first fantasy came in, and it's. Excellent. Let me get another 10. Come on, give me another 10. I don't have the achievement for all 10, so... Give me another 10. Give me one more 10. Please give me this one good 10. Ah! All games! This is my best game so far at 9.75, because I refuse to give me the full solid 10. 100,000... 193,000 units sold in the first week. I gained 1.4 fans in that first week. Oh, man. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and move because it is, a mi it is a lot of money to be able to move into this next place. And I'm going to do that just because I can. But, however, that is also... That is also where we are going to end the episode. So if you guys like uh, Game Dev Tycoon, go ahead and leave it a like. Leave a comment down below saying, Hey, Ian, we really want you to play this. This is actually a lot of fun being able to watch or play. There will also be a link to the game. It's on Steam. There is a link in the description below in order to play it. Um, uh, I do like reading your comments, and I do take my time every day to be able to check and read and reply to every comment that I possibly can, even though there's so few out there. But I really do enjoy getting, uh, getting some input from the community about what you guys want and I do care about what you guys want because I do this not just for me because it's fun but I also do it for you guys the people who do get um, you know the 10 15 20 an hour eight hours at one point worth of enjoyment out of watching my game so if you guys would if you guys want go ahead and uh, go ahead and leave it uh, hit a subscribe if you uh, think if you think that you'd like to watch more of my videos or share it with somebody if you think they would enjoy it. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching and have a good one.